All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do before you leave is check your tire pressure. Um, with a rig this heavy, that's about 20,000 pounds, I believe. You're gonna wanna make sure you have, have adequate tire pressure and you don't wanna blow out going down the road. That might not be the best thing. So the first thing you'll do is you'll take a look at these tire pressures here on this placard on the inside of the driver's side door. See, it says here on your fronts, 75 PSI, rear, 80 PSI, spare tire, 75 PSI. How you can check them is with these gauges here and we actually have some uh some fillers as well i don't know what the actual name is right now it's escaping me um, but the tire pressure can be filled using this compressor in the back here there's also a uh, 25 foot uh, airline and uh, if you need an extension cord you can go over here to the electrical compartment and use the extension cord provided there too. So that is for tire pressure. Uh, once you, if you're within a couple PSI of where you need to be, you should be fine. You don't need to fill it up, but if anything's drastically different, you, you have access to a, uh, a way to fill them. There's also an air ride filler, Traeger valve here, and on the other side, just in front of the rear axle, this is your air ride suspension. Um, typically you won't have to mess with this, but you can check this as well, and you just want to keep it above zero. I try to keep it around 65 to 75 PSI. So before you leave, if all your pressures are good, the next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and unchalk the vehicle. Chalking the vehicle is very important once you get there, but we'll go over that in another video. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and pull these chalks. And I'll just do this side just for demonstration's sake. The emergency parking brake is still engaged while I'm doing this as well. I'll go right here into this compartment. You look, there's a spot right down there. And that's where I'll put all my chalks so they're ready for access. Um, other than that, you can go ahead and get in your vehicle. You can, well, first you're going to want to take your mirrors and spread them out if they're not already. Go ahead and get in your vehicle, start it up, and what you'll do is go ahead and just hit the touch screen and go to your rear aux or auxiliary, and that's where you'll access your backup camera. And that's just about it. You can get on a cell phone with your significant other or a friend and have them kind of guide you, make sure you don't hit anything. Uh, sometimes I forget about this front of the cab up here above me. Um, just be aware of your surroundings at all times. And also, another thing is always, always, always before you take off, just go ahead and look underneath and make sure that there's no bikes or skateboards or chairs or anything underneath the vehicle that could mess up your tires once you're pulling out or, of course, mess up any of anybody's property. So other than that, I think that's about it for the departure. I'm just going to add, make sure all your compartments oh, that's right. are latched. There's latches on either side of the lock and locked. You don't want those flying open whenever you're headed out and always make sure you talk and communicate with whoever's doing the inside or if it's just you check this off your checklist that your slide outs are completely in and not even sticking out a little bit just aerodynamics wise you could pull open a slide out pretty easy and yeah i think reese covered everything else and then check anything inside yeah i'm gonna switch off and uh talk to you all about what i set up before we leave on the inside Okay, so I usually just come in and make sure my generator is off. We have a control panel right here. I don't know if you can see. But I just make sure everything's off because you don't really need to be driving with it. But it's just a thing. And I make sure all my light switches are off, my battery's off, everything like that. Then I come in and the first major thing I do when I get up after the control panel is make sure above the cockpit is completely empty. There's no cargo net or anything here. So if something's up here, it's going to fly down on top of your passenger and or driver or slide back and hit any other additional passengers you have in the back. Obviously there's seat belts for safety. These windows do jumble open. So I make sure I slide them closed as best I can. There's a lock and I make sure they're locked and that's all the windows. So I just do a window check. Um, also you wanna make sure all your cabinets and drawers are pushed in as full as possible. Your TV is all the way down. So I make sure those are done. I make sure there's nothing left counter side at all because it's just going to slide around and move and 
go crazy, you can shove it into any of the storage spots. There's drawers under the dinette as well. I kind of wiggle this and make sure it's down so it doesn't go flying off. We do store a lot in the dinette. You can see like pillows, ladder, small things. It shouldn't move too much around. I make sure the fridge is closed because you don't want it to slam open and then you have a bent door cabinets again. On this, I might need to turn on the light when we get to the back here. On this uh, door back here, there is what looks like a girl's scrunchy rubber band, head rubber band. I make sure it goes around the latch because otherwise this door goes forward and back and side to side and it would just come right off. I'm going to turn on the generator. You should have to, lights right now. Oh. I turned on the disconnect. To go further in. It's hot. Okay, I make sure the bathroom, there's a lot in here, so I don't know if y'all can get at an angle that works. I just make sure all the cabinets are closed if you want to go in there to just show them where the cabinets are. And I make sure the toilet seat's down. There's your soap dispenser or anything. I put it inside the sink, or you can put it in any of the cabinets, just making sure, you know, you don't break glass when you're sliding around. Driving, and I make sure this bathroom door is latched. And then this shower door, um, I've heard horror stories about people leaving them unlatched and you're driving and they swing open and then they shatter their entire sh shower door. So I just make sure nothing's going to swing around there. Just close it, make sure it's latched. Same back here, just all the cabinets, windows, and then I'm going to, hopefully you can see, on the closet they have a locking mechanism because these are also real glass. So I make sure and I push on both of those and the sh make sure they're clasped so that they're not going to shatter um, when you're hitting bumps or driving around. They don't slide open and move around. And I guess the last thing, there was something, oh, I just make sure all the slide outs are in. So if you're working alone, obviously you don't have to communicate with whoever's outside that you don't hit their head or something, but I communicate with them and say, is it okay to slide in? One other thing I want to mention is make sure there is nothing behind this dinette in between the wall because it will ruin your slide out. So make sure your slide, slide outs, outs are all clear. The back slide out cannot close unless you close all the cabinets and drawers in the, the primary bedroom. So I just make sure everything's closed and clear, all the nooks and crannies, all underneath, and then we're clear to slide out if we were slide out, if you're departing and your slide out's already out. Um, that's everything for departure for me. Okay. All right.